Okay, going to go through a few scriptures that refute this lie, this heresy of sinless perfectionism. Sinless perfectionism is a false doctrine, and it is satanic too. I proved that in the video called Sinless Perfectionism is Atheist Satanist Philosophy. The idea that you can become sinless is satanic. It comes from Satanism, and it really has to come down to convincing yourself that you're a good person, which is what any atheist believes. When the Bible says in Romans 3.10 that there's none that's good. So, I'm going to cover a few scriptures that make a problem for this this lie, this heresy of sinless perfectionism. So let's get right into it. So first premise and point I want to bring up is that if God were to mark your iniquities and mark your sins, you would not be able to stand. Nobody could be able to stand. Not one person. Okay, turn to Psalms 130 verses 3 to 4. If thou, Lord, shouldest mark iniquities, O Lord, who shall stand? But there is forgiveness with thee, that thou mayest be feared. So if you were to have your iniquities marked, you would not be able to stand before God in righteousness. Who shall stand? No one can. Psalms 143 verses 1 to 2. Hear my prayer, O Lord, give ear to my supplications, in thy faithfulness answer me, and in thy righteousness, and enter not into judgment with thy servant, for in thy sight shall no living man be justified. Exactly. There's none good, there's none righteous, no, not one, like it talks about in Romans 3.10. There's none that doeth good, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, Romans 3.23. In their, in their sight for shall no living man be justified. How do you get justified? Through Jesus Christ. Now obviously they didn't have that back then under the Old Testament. All they had was animal sacrifices, which were in type. They were a typology of Jesus Christ. But really, if you're trying to save yourself by your self-righteousness, you won't be justified. No living man shall be justified by his own self-righteousness. Proverbs chapter 20, verses 8 to 9. A king that sitteth in the throne of judgment scattereth away all evil with his eyes. Who can say, I have made my heart clean, I am pure from my sin? Who can say it? Nobody can. Again, if thou, Lord, shall mark iniquities, who shall stand? Nobody can. Who can say, I am pure from my sin? Not one person can say that. You are uh, not. You cannot be sinless. You are, you are not righteous before God. Your righteousness are as filthy rags, like it talks about in Isaiah 64, verse 6. So you can't be sinless or righteous before God apart from Jesus Christ under this current dispensation. Next point, nobody is more holy or as righteous as God. Job chapter 4 verse 17. Shall mortal men, mortal men be more just, just than God? Shall a man be more pure than his maker? Can you do that? No, you can't. Revelation 15:4 is clear. Thou art the only one that is holy. Psalms 2 verse or, or first 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 Samuel chapter 2 verse 2 is clear that God is the only one that is you know without iniquity. Job 35 verse 2. Thinkest thou this to be right that thou sayest uh, my righteousness is more than God's? You see, some of these sinless perfection uh, heretics, they want to become like a god. They, they say, oh, well, that's not what we believe. If you're trying to be sinlessly perfect, you're trying to become your own god. Hmm. Who was it that said, ye shall be as gods, in Genesis 3, 5? Satan. That's why I say sinless perfectionism is satanic. It's of the devil. Next premise is that mankind is full of iniquity. Mankind is full of sin. Now, it's not the Calvinistic uh, false doctrine of total depravity, but mankind, we're, it's wicked. We're, we have a wicked flesh. We have a wicked body of flesh. And you cannot be sinless in this body of flesh. Job 15, verses 14 and 16. What is a man that he should be clean? Uh, and he which is born of woman, that he should be righteous. Behold, he putteth no trust in his saints. Yea, the heavens are not clean in his sight. How much more abominable and filthy is man, which drinketh iniquity like water? Job 25 verses 4 to 6. How then can man be justified with God? Or how can he be clean that is born of a woman? 
Uh, behold, even, behold, even to the moon, and it shineth not. He the stars are not pure in his sight. How much less man that is a worm, and the son of, and a son of man, which is a worm. You know, who can be justified with God that's born of a woman? David talks about that in Psalm 51, verse 5. You know, in sin did my mother conceive me. You see, you're born in the body of sin. You're born in a, in a body of flesh. Now, babies are not held to the standard of the law. Young children are not, they cannot be condemned against the law because they have no understanding of the law. Compare Romans chapter 3, verse 20 with Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 39. So children can't be condemned against the law, but you do live in a body of sinful flesh. You can't be sinlessly perfect in this life. Now, last premise, nobody can claim they're without sin or that they don't sin. Uh, 1 Kings chapter 8, verse 46. If they sin against thee, for there is no man that sinneth not, it then thou be angry with them, and to deliver them to the enemy, so that they that so that they carry away the, the them away captives unto the land of the enemy, far or near. No man that sinneth not. It's crystal clear. Second Chronicles chapter six verse thirty six. If they sin against thee, for there is no man which sinneth not, and thou be angry with them, to, and deliver them over before their enemies, and they carry them away captives unto a land far off or near. Exactly. Par repeating what, the, what 1 Kings 8.46 said. There is no man which sinneth not. There is not a just man upon the earth that doeth good and sinneth not. We'll read about that. Turn to Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 20. For there is not a just man upon the earth that doeth good and sinneth not. Not just there's not a just man upon the earth. There's not a just man upon earth that doeth good and sinneth not. It's that simple. Even the ones that are just and righteous, there's not a just man upon earth that doeth good and sinneth not. Okay, you can be righteous, but you're still you're still going to struggle with sin. You're still going to have sin problems. It's going to happen. There's not a just man upon earth that doeth good and sinneth not. And finally, the uh, uh, you know. The infamous John chapter 1 verses 8 to 10. First John chapter 1 verses 8 to 10, sorry. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. Okay? If we have no sin. Okay, he's talking to, the in the epistle of John, he's talking to believers in this epistle in this epistle he's not saying all oh, past tense if we say that we have no sin present tense okay you say you have no sin you're a liar and the truth is not in you there's not a just man upon earth that doeth good and sinneth not ecclesiastes 7 20 there's no man that sinneth not first kings 8 46 and second chronicles 6 36 you cannot be sinless in this life and anyone who says that is denying plain scripture sinless perfectionism is a false satanic doctrine it's wicked it's it's of the devil and I proved that in my video, sinless perfectionism is atheist Satanist philosophy. It's just nothing more than just satanic doctrine. So don't, don't be deceived by anyone who says they're sinlessly perfect. Just ask them. If someone says, I'm sinlessly perfect, just ask them, okay, have you ever, ever had a headache? Have you ever had to go to sleep at night? Have you ever had to you know, use the washroom? Because if you're sinlessly perfect, you won't, have, you won't have to have maintenance on your body, with, like, which is sleeping, going to the washroom. Or you won't have be having headaches, you won't be having health problems because your body would not be corruptible. So just ask them. So have you ever had any headaches? Have you ever had to uh, trouble sleeping? Have you ever had you know? Just ask them any kind of health problem, and if they say yes, they are not sinlessly perfect. They have a body of flesh. So just a simple question to ask them. But sinless perfectionism is a false doctrine. Don't be deceived by it. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.